a home improvement store and a church. Somewhat of a match made in heaven and Cohoes, it turns out. The United Church of Cohoes on Mohawk Street called Home Depot about two months ago, looking to get an estimate on a fence to surround the church. But Home Depot took it a step further, offering to do the project for free and supply all the material. It's part of a community outreach program that the store is doing called Team Depot. The church wasn't protected. There's kids in the yard, and we wanted to have a safe place for them to play, for them to uh, get out in the yard and enjoy the nice fresh air. And about 15 Home Depot employees are working on the project today on their day off. Oh. Sort of a busman's holiday, but nice. good for them. Nice work, huh? Hopefully they stay hydrated because it is sweltering yeah, out there, really, Liz. And a lot of humidity. That humidity it? is what really kills you. Yeah, very high humidity today, and that sun is beating down on Albany. Now, there will be a chance for storms today, and... For the next several days, I'll outline those storm chances for you in just a few minutes. Your CBS 6 Instant Doppler Forecast with meteorologist Nick Johnston. Well, we are seeing sunshine in downtown Albany. Now, what the Skycam doesn't show you, the high humidity. You can see a little bit of haze there on the horizon, and that's what we've been seeing all day long. It is very muggy out. Here's where we are right now and where we're headed. 85 degrees, high today in the mid to upper 80s. Albany might be one of those areas that gets into the upper 80s as our temperature already at 85 and low tonight, staying near the 70 degree mark. It's going to be warm and muggy through the overnight hours as well. Now, there has been an air quality alert issued in the southern part of the viewing area. That's Ulster, Dutchess, and uh, Litchfield County there in Connecticut. That's a code orange for, again, air quality issues. If you do have a pre-existing respiratory problem, you're going to want to try to limit your outdoor exposure. So just keep that in mind. But most of the region is not under that air quality alert. It's just the heat and humidity you have to contend with. Latest temperature of 85 in Albany, 84 in Schenectady. North Adams also at 85 degrees, and it is 84 in Bennington. Those are the temperatures. Now here are the dew points. Very high. It is muggy out there. Albany seeing a dew point of 67, 66 in Schenectady. Glens Falls has a dew point of 68. And the last hour, they had a dew point of 71. So high humidity across our area. The dew points generally ranging from the mid to upper 60s. That is uncomfortable in parts of the area bordering on that oppressive. That's when the dew points get into the lower 70s. So take that into account. You know the drill. Just uh, stay hydrated and take breaks if you do have to work outside. All right, here's a look at the storm track Doppler radar. Most of the region still precipitation free, but in the next couple of hours, we are expecting those storms to start firing off. And some of those storms could be packing a punch. Zooming in a little closer on where there are a few showers right now near Boonville there and near Tupper Lake. 
So far, I haven't seen a whole lot of lightning associated with these, but that will definitely be a possibility with some of these afternoon storms today. Here's a look at the satellite imagery. You can see more cloud cover on the northern side of things right now. Northern New York seeing a bit more clouds. Albany, as you saw on the SkyCam, seeing that sunshine right now. Here's the setup. We have this stationary front draped across the area, and it's likely along that frontal boundary that we'll start seeing those storms firing off. Meanwhile, we're going to watch this low pressure start to head our way during the day tomorrow, bringing with it that cold front. So we're going to keep that chance for storms today, tonight, tomorrow, and into the first part of the weekend. We are going to continue to see a chance for periods of heavy rain and maybe some thunderstorm activity. So noon, we're just starting to see some storms popping up along the northern side of things as we head into the afternoon, pretty widespread, at least scattered across the area. This is 5 p.m. Into the late night, there will be a chance for a few late night showers or storms. This is 10 o'clock into Friday. Now we keep that chance for storms in the forecast. This is 8 a.m. Could be a few storms right in the morning. Better chance for those storms as we head into the afternoon on Friday. So there is a chance for a few of those storms to be strong. Not a very big chance, but today there could be a risk of large hail and a few damaging wind gusts. Not expecting them to be widespread across the area tonight. Staying muggy, 69 in Albany, 71 in Kingston. South winds tonight at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's a look at the next seven days. Humid and get used to it. That's not going to change. Now our temperatures will be backing off and we'll keep that chance for periods of heavy rain and a few rumbles of thunder at least through the first part of the weekend. Liz. All right. Thank you, Nick. Hey, the Olympics are winding down and the race to be at the top of the medal count is heating up right now. The U.S. has overtaken China for the lead in total member medals rather, but helping that to happen were the golden girls of U.S. beach volleyball and track and field. Monica Villamizar takes us to London. An American gold medal win on the beach turned into a post-match party. Misty May Trainer celebrated in the sand, dancing what she called the shuffle. Oh, yeah. Carrie Walsh's husband pulled her into the stands for a victory hug. The pair won their third straight Olympic gold in an All-American final. American athletes dominated track and field events, grabbing three more golds. Allison Felix powered past Jamaica to win the 200-meter final. It wasn't her speed, but her nationality that brought cheers for Sarah Attar. She became Saudi Arabia's first female track and field athlete in the Olympics. Just being there and having all that support was the true accomplishment. American fans have their eyes fixed on women's soccer. Team USA has been playing Olympic matches across Britain, but never in London. The final game is here in the capital, so they have even more fans to cheer them on. The pressure is amazing, but they all need to remember that they really, all of them, are the best in the world. The U.S. women will take on Japan, the team that beat them in last year's World Cup final. Our focus is totally on this gold medal game. Forward really Abby Wombach care. says while revenge is the driving force, the goal is to play smart. We need to stay patient because if we get frustrated early on, that's exactly what they want. But there were some tense moments for fans at a barbecue at New Zealand's Olympic house. Firefighters evacuated hundreds of people after a gas explosion, but nobody was hurt. Monica Villamizar, CBS News, London. All right, more to come on CBS 6 News at noon. Mr. Food is right up after the break.